Today's online world runs on passwords. And if you're like the average human being, you have a hundred passwords to remember, minimum. So unless you're Einstein, you're not gonna be remembering all of those passwords. And you better not be using the same password for every website. So how are you managing your passwords today? In this video, I'll show you the top three password managers that you can use to make your life easier and your passwords more secure. So you can stop doing this and start doing more of this. I get it. If you use the internet today, you have too many passwords. And so in order to make your life easier, you start to reuse that password in every single website that you log into. Hackers love this. There's an attack technique they use called credential stuffing, where they take breached passwords from other websites and then use those to try to log into other websites. So if you're using the same password in more than one place, you are more likely to get hacked with that account. The solution to this is to use a password manager or a password vault. This is a technology that allows you to store your passwords securely and also help you store unique passwords for every single site. And by the way, these can be uniquely generated passwords. So you don't have to remember every single password that's in there. You just have to remember one very secure and very strong password. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you three password managers that you can use depending on the level of paranoia that you have with your passwords. From fairly trusting to tinfoil hat paranoia. And stick around to the end because depending on whichever password solution that you choose, I'll give you my top tips to keep them secure. And don't worry, I'll include links below in the description with all of these password managers. And I'd love to know what password manager you love. So drop a comment below on what you're using and what you found really good. All right, so let's dig in. First up, we have 1Password. They will call this out as the world's most loved password manager. They might be a little biased, but it is a very popular password manager and for very good reason. It's a solid choice and it's fairly affordable as well. For a single user, you're looking at $3 a month when paid annually, as well as a family package, which is $5 a month, and you get up to five family members with that. And if you're looking for a family package, 1Password is awesome here. Not only is it affordable, but it also gives you the ability to share passwords between family members. So if you have a shared account like a Netflix and you want your family to have that, then you can share that password for everyone. It's also a really good opportunity to start teaching good password habits with your entire family. With the breach of LastPass and the customer's password vault, some are a little bit sketched out about using an online password manager. I think most importantly here is that these are still very secure solutions for your passwords. And security is all about balancing risk and reward. And the frank matter is that using an online password manager is still far better than not using one. To give you a second option for an online password manager, we have Bitwarden. This is a favorite among more advanced users because of the level of customization that it has and the ability to self-host this. It's going to have a lot of the same features as 1Password, but because this is more sophisticated, you can really dig deep into configuring your level of encryption and some other things that gives you a little bit more flexibility. But the caveat here is you really have to understand what you're doing, otherwise you could be compromising the integrity of these passwords. A reason this is popular is because it does have a free version and it's really good for a free version. You can pay more money to get some advanced features, which I highly recommend, because it allows you to get different security features and a lot more access to functionality that is just gonna help keep you more secure. Bitwarden is great because it is free, and so if you are strapped for cash, I highly recommend using this solution, but stick to the defaults. As I mentioned, there are some highly configurable aspects of this solution, but it could put you more at risk. One of those specifically is this self-hosted option. There are some people out there that want this capability because it keeps everything within their control, but that means that the onus of security is on you as an individual versus having teams of security people who work at these companies who are focused on trying to keep your solutions safe. Now we know that doesn't always work, but if I'm gonna put my money 
on a solution, I'm gonna put that behind somebody that has a team of security people versus having that all rest on my shoulders. A quick warning here, many of the common web browsers out there like Chrome are going to offer you the ability to store passwords. And while that is super convenient and is arguably one of the best usability components for any of the password managers out there, it is not as secure as you think it is because hackers know that people are using this and they have built info stealer malware that when it gets installed on your system, it will dump all of your passwords from Chrome and send that straight to the attacker. But don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you high and dry with only two options for online password faults. There are offline password faults that you can use that you don't have to put in a self-hosted environment, but still gives you all of the security controls that you need to keep your passwords safe. One of those solutions is KeePass. This is something that you download from the website, you create your master key, and you have a password vault at your disposal, and you store it where you want. That could be on a USB key, that could be on your local system, doesn't matter, you have that power. Now you'll notice that a lot of the features are more slimmed down from what you're gonna get from a 1Password or a Bitwarden. That's because you are running something offline. While they'll say that it has the ability to autofill passwords, I found that it's just less user-friendly than something like a 1Password or a Bitwarden. Another thing to keep in mind is that it has really good support for Windows, but once you start getting to some of the other operating systems and platforms, it gets into unofficial ports of that software. So use it at your own discretion there. Now, the thing to keep in mind with a solution like KeePass is that you control your own destiny with this. There are no backups unless you manage those backups. So if you put that on a USB drive and you lose that USB drive, you can say goodbye to all your passwords because that's gonna be gone. It might be protected even if somebody picks it up because it is encrypted, but you're not gonna remember those passwords, they're gone. And that's why I always say that security is a balance. You can't have maximum security and expect the best usability in the world, just like you can't expect the best usability in the world and have all the security in the world. It is a risk reward decision here. And I think what you'll find is that for most of the online password vaults that are out there, they're still going to provide a good level of security and you just have to do what you can to protect yourself and your passwords while working with them. I promised you the top tips for using a password manager and and here we are. So first and foremost, make sure that you are using a strong master password. This is critical to ensuring that somebody is not going to be able to get into your password vault. So first of all, you wanna make sure it is unique and that you're not using this password anywhere else and you wanna make sure that it is a strong password. Standard practice now is to use a long passphrase, which is just a series of words and characters that will allow you to get the length for a long password, but it's just going to be easier to remember. Tip number two is to use multi-factor authentication on your password vault. I recommend using a YubiKey, which is a hardware device that is specifically tied to you because you have it, but you can also get the biometric version that you just use your fingerprint and that will give you some additional security for your account. Looks like this. Tip number three is to make sure that you are securely storing your secret key as well as a recovery key that you're going to get when you set up your online password vault. The reason this is important is because if you were to lose these, then you are toast. You won't be able to get back into your passwords and it will be the equivalent if you just lose your encrypted USB drive with something like KeePass on it. Make sure that you're keeping that safe. I'd recommend writing that down somewhere and storing it in a safe in your house. And tip number four is to use the password vault the way it was intended to be used. Make sure that you're generating unique passwords for every single website that you go to. And while you're at it, add MFA to any website that allows you to do so. When you layer in a strong password and MFA, especially if it's with a YubiKey, you are going to find that your accounts are so much more secure and it's gonna help you be more prone to avoiding phishing attacks. If you are curious on how hackers try to break into these password vault companies, check out this video with LastPass and what happened to them and why a master password that is super strong is gonna help save you in any type of attack that targets an online password vault company.